this is our process diagram which we will be working on and this is a flow sheet and in the flow sheet we will be adding the streams and unit operations or blocks so let me talk about first our process we got these pre actually let's add all the data here it's much better we have the inlet or pre feed here which it has temperature pressure more flow rate and the conditions of the stream compositions so that's the only thing we need to define a stream it goes to this heater this heater operates at 40 celsius that is it's heating from 15 celsius to 40 celsius at the same pressure there's no pressure drop then we have this feed which is let's say the heated feed it goes to this flash the flash operates adiabatically with a temperature given of 40 celsius and at 10 bar there's no drop in pressure so we got here vapor and we got here liquid the vapor is actually mostly natural gas which is methane ethane and a little bit of propane butane and all other materials <coughs> then it goes to this combustion chamber which is actually a reactor a stoichiometric reactor which converts essentially all the hydrocarbons plus the air which is oxygen mostly and nitrogen is inert will go directly in and out to co2 and water <coughs> we got this flow rate for the air maybe it's excess uh, air we don't still we don't know that but probably we will know it once we run the simulation and verify this stack gas the stack gas should in theory if it were complete combustion at 100 percent should come contain only CO2, H2O, and nitrogen. But most likely we're going to have a little bit more oxygen because this is in excess. Now the liquid, which is the, let's say, most interesting part for our process, will be depressurized from 10 bar to 2 bar with this valve. Then we bring this feed of the first column. The first column will be modeled with a rat track in equilibrium conditions. It has 15 stages, the feed is at the 8th stage, it has a partial vapor, has a distillate rate of 20 km per hour, so this should be 20 km per hour, then has a reflux of 5 molars, so this rate here is 5 molar. The pressure of operation is 1.95 bar, so we are assuming there is no pressure drop, of course in real life that does not happen, but we will assume this is correct. Now the vapor should be mostly liquefied petroleum gas, which is essentially propane and butane. As well, we are going to have a little bit of ethane and methane and maybe some more heavy products. Then in the bottoms, we will have the second feed, which goes to the distillation unit here. This is called, oh well, this will be modeled with the distill column. It has 20 stages and 10 will be the feed stage right here. We have a total uh, condenser, so this will be liquid. And we have here a boiler, which is at 2.10 bar. This, in this case, we do have a pressure drop. So it starts from 1.9 bar here, and it drops up to, well, down to 2.10 bar. So this feed, sorry, this distillate will be liquid, and it should be mostly hydrocarbons containing six carbons, that is benzene and cyclohexane. And this uh, bottom product should be pressurized. Actually, it will be increased. Maybe it has a pressure drop of the next stream of 0.5 bar, so we need to increase it. It has an efficiency. And this contains mostly hydrocarbons with seven carbons. That will be the toluene, which is benzene and a methyl right here. So this is our process, try to learn it. Uh, sorry, I forget the compressor. The compressor will act isentropically, has an efficiency of 88% and should increase the pressure to five bar. So remember it starts from two bar and we should increase it to five bar. Now, let me clean up here. So try to remember at least all the unit operations and important streams. So the unit operations are heater, flash, the reactor, the compressor, the distillation column, which will be the rat track, the second distillation column, which will be the destillate, 
and this pump right here, as well as the bottom. Important streams will be, of course, init streams, which is this one and this one right here, which we need to state the compositions. And this will be the product streams. You also need to have them as well, because those are the, let's say, the things we want to learn about. And eventually, well, of course, you need this stream as well, this stream, this stream, and this stream. So, uh, and this last one. So this is our process. Try to print it if you can. Uh, so, oops. Uh, I have uh, the image already printed. You can print this directly. So you don't have to go to the video section or the slide section. You just print it and you can modulate it much easier.